Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, today I'm here to explain to you how I'm going to carry out this installation. This is a Thunder Restore installation I'm about to do right now in this building. We did the solar system some days back and we were called to also do the Thunder Restore installation to protect the solar system from any form of thunder strikes or lightning strike. Now, as you can see, I have the Arrestor set in my hand. This is the one you place on the roof. You arrange it, couple it to this one, place on the roof and nail it. I'm going to show you how it is done at the end of the video. Then, <coughs> this one is the earth that goes down. There are a lot of ways, several ways in which you can do this. This is the cable we are going to use, this 10mm cable. This is a common star, 10mm, normal electrical wire. You can also use copper tape. It depends on what you want to achieve. Or in this case, we are going to make use of this 10mm. You can also use 16mm. You can use copper tape. But in this case, we are using this. Then, there are a lot of ways to do it. You can use, some persons use 4 edwards, up to 4 edwards. Some use up to 2. But in this case, I'm using just 1 edward. Then, I don't want my hole, the hole I'm going to dig. It's not going to be that deep. And this charcoal, now charcoal helps to absorb moisture to that particular spot where it is placed. Sometimes I use salt, but in this case, I don't, I'm not going to use salt because over time when you use salt, the, it tends to make the earthward rusty over time. So I'm not going to use salt for this. I'm going to use just charcoal, just apply some to the ground, to that spot where I'm going to dig it. I'm not going to put it here because this place is more like the face of the building. I don't want to deface the building. I'm going to take it to the other side. So when I'm done, you will see how it's done. I will take it to the other side and just dig a small portion where I'm going to bury this one down. Then I will take this one from, connect it to this one on top of the roof. Then I will take it through the ceiling, not on top of the zinc. Don't put the, don't take the thunder restore cable on top of the zinc. It doesn't make the work so look nice. So you take it through the, seal, the roof, inside the roof, then you bring it down. You can use the 20 mm pipe to fit in the wires and clip it to the wall so that the wall could be neat. That's what I'm going to do. I just said so I should show you and just introduce to how I do mine. This coupler, I have some couplers that recover the pipe. I also have clips for the uh, pipe. Then this is an adaptable bus. I'm going to put one on the ground. When I put it on the ground, the wire will pass through one of the holes. One of the holes like this. Pass through one of the holes. The wire is coming from on top of the roof. Then this one will go deep inside. But it will be visible. I will not bury everything. Because if you bury everything, then when it's time for maintenance, it becomes, it becomes so difficult for you to do maintenance. But with this, you won't bury everything, so you can cover this top. When you want to do maintenance, you can always go and reassess the effectiveness of the earthing. Open it up, then see uh, what you can do, whether to add another earth rod or to retie the connection to make it firm and to make it work as good as new. Okay, this is what I was telling you about. We've taken the wire down straight from inside the ceiling to this side of the house, the back of the house. Because of this shape here, we cannot take a straight pipe down. We had to use that AC pipe to bend the wire to fit in to that hedge. Then now the <coughs> pipe has come down. This is the turning in wire. At this point, we it got exhausted, so I had to combine two 6mm cables together to get 12 mm okay so that's it at this point i'm going to tie it firmly to this road this is the earth road this is how i like to fix mine i've bored a hole this into this box then it will not go down fully i will have from here up in case i want to do maintenance i was supposed to buy an earth clamp but i forgot to buy that so I'm going to use my hand to tie manually on the earth road. Just watch as I do it. At this point, the sun is very hot. Right now, the thunder, the earth roads have some currents. So when I touch the earth roads, I will see some electric shock. That's why I'm being careful. 
not to touch it. So the police are uh, eighteen is active. Our thunder arrestor is active. Give it tie round. Also tie the other one round. So tie the other one. When I take this thing down, you see the the electric shock, the current on this rod will reduce drastically. I will not get as much shock as I used to get. That means most of the currents are going down into the ground. Check the hole. You see, I already placed charcoal inside. So I absorb moisture. I'm also going to add water in that hole. Then when we bury everything, we are going to leave the pipe and this box, our covered box, top of the box. And that will be all for today. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. So thank you very much for listening. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates and more tips on how to do this kind of solutions. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.